Adventures, a story of Seasons Fairy Tale. Hello, lords and ladies. My name is Archaic King, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of Return to Pope LaCroix, a story of Seasons Fairy Tale. Uh, I've been very excited to play this game because uh, I, I normally like JRPGs. Uh, I've never really heard of the Pope LaCroix series up to this point, but the fact that it's uh, sort of like a crossover between that and Story Seasons really intrigued me and so I've been really hyping it up so I'm a little bit nervous to start this new let's play right and a lot of you like my story seasons let's play uh, so I'm hoping that this has a similar response so we're gonna head and hit begin new game uh, let's see game configuration I'm gonna go with you know I think we can like ex can we sample these oh we yeah we press Marcia. We're actually going to go with um, English. We're going to leave the trace outlines on. Difficulty level. Prince. Seedling. King. Uh, I'm new to this type of game, but I'm going to go with Prince anyways. Encounter rate. Oh, you can really, you really can customize this to your liking. I'm going to say mid, medium, not mid. <laughs> this is not League of Legends. Alright, start. Set up complete to change during the gameplay, select data, then game... Okay, because we, we can change that at any time we want. Alright, chapter one, Season of Shadows. Well, there's the title of this video. I love it. I love it when a plan just comes together. Once upon a time, there stood a small kingdom called Popolacrois. The prince of this kingdom was a boy named Pietro, who was renowned for his good cheer, his courage, and his sense of adventure. A kindly witch girl named Narsha lived in the forest near the castle and became his best friend, helping him save the land. Gami Devil, who sought world domination. Aiding them in this fight was the pure-hearted White Knight. Working together, the three of them managed to defeat Gami Gami, and were even able to turn him from foe to friend in the end. Peace was restored to Popolacroix, and one story reached its natural, happy conclusion. Now, years later, it is the day of Pietro's 13th birthday, and everyone's gathering to give him their blessings and best wishes.
Prince Pietro. Prince. Prince? <sighs> What's wrong, Prince? Why are you all sulking at this here tree? Oh, Gomer. I didn't see you there. Is something the matter? I hate when I hate when the game goes in like half in with voice acting. It's like, well voice act part of it, but we won't voice act the other. And I got the volume down real low, so sometimes I can't hear if they're not talking and I should be reading. Sorry, I just Prince. Besides which, there have been big black scary monsters sighted around these parts lately, so you really ain't safe out here. Wait, I bet I know what's going on. There's some place you're looking to go before the party starts, ain't there? I wanted to go into the forest, but, but just for a minute. Oh. <laughs> Prince, I know where you're coming from all too well. Believe you me. It's been an awful long time since you last saw her, after all. She's probably missing you, that Marcia, that Narcia, not Marcia, and you're sure missing yeah. her. So, how long have you been standing here trying to work up the courage to pay her a visit? You gotta hit the road running, what? man. You mean you'll let me go? Of course I will. But first things first, you're gonna need a gift. Ain't proper to see someone special after such a long time without one. Uh... Well, I did come across some really pretty flowers out here, so I picked a few for her. Oh? And you're just gonna give them to her loose like that? You got a lot to learn, Prince. Guess I'm just gonna have to show you the ropes myself. Give me them flowers. Can't believe I'm getting lessons from a guard. Come on, let's head into town and have ourselves a little chat with the shopkeep. Goomer has joined the party. Sweet. I love having a guard around. Alright, Popo LaCroix Field. I can't remember if it's pronounced Popo LaCroix or Popo LaCrosse. Alright. Now we're, we have free reign of this field, I guess. <laughs> is there another way to run? I don't know. I think this is the pace we're... I think this is at the pace we're at. Understanding the guide map. This omnipresent mini-map shows Pietro's immediate surroundings, marking his location as well as any other sites of interest in the vicinity, inns, shops, store goals, etc. You can touch the icons depicted on either side of this map on the touch screen to open menus, view the world map, and more. Not sure where to go next? Tap hint. Press start while journeying to view the world map, which shows the entirety of the land in which Pietro is adventuring. Both his current location and his next story destination are marked, and while the areas he hasn't yet been to will be obscured by fog at first, they'll feel in as the story progresses. Alright, well you guys don't get to see the bottom screen, which that's partially my fault since I can't show both screens at once, but you get the idea. Alright, so this is where we need to go. Jack of all trades. Welcome, welcome. Have a look around. If you see anything you like, feel free to... Uh, Prince Pietro? Today's your birthday, isn't it? Is it uh, okay for you to be here? Uh, he's with me. Actually, I got something to ask you. See, what I'm thinking is... Hmm, okay. So it's a present for... Oh, oh. ah, aha, I see, I see. Yes, I believe I understand entirely. Just leave everything to me. I'll fix you right up. I, uh, <clears throat> don't know who this is for, of course, but will this do? Have a look. A flower basket fit for a king, or a prince in this case. Only the best to compliment blossoms so fragrant and fair. A fine job as always, my friend. It's on the house. This is a gift from the heart, after all. And one cannot put a price tag on something so sweet. Except there's a little holiday called Valentine's Day where they do put a price on it. Wow, thank you. Receive flower basket. A good thing we came, huh? She's gonna love it. Now come on, we gotta hurry to the witch's house in Floral Forest, then get you home. 
We're probably gonna get some more tutorials on the way. Is that a dog man? A very happy birthday to you. He's even a professor. Hey, Asabu. How you doing? Well, now it ain't the smartest man in town. What's shaking, Prof? I am far from the smartest man in town. No matter how much knowledge I have to impart, I fear I will always lose to the innocent apathy of children. Is something wrong, Sabu? You seem kind of down. Yes, well, the majority of my students fell asleep on me during class today. A disheartening occurrence, if ever there were one. What were you teaching? Dimensional geography of sorts. I was explaining the world tree. World tree? Oh, have I piqued your interest? I'd be happy to tell you a bit about it if you'd like. Huh? <laughs> that doesn't matter, Gomer. It sounds interesting. Please go on. Hmm. All right. In that case, and today's subject will be the world tree. Born from the will of light, the world tree is, well, it's an enormous tree. And it holds on each of its many branches a world unto itself. Indeed, this world we know is but one of many connected to all others through the trunk. Thusly... Oh. <laughs> We're gonna be asleep by the time it's over, aren't we? And or almost! Around when I started to hear snoring and mumbling and realize I'd bored the class to sleep. I suppose I'm just not very exciting. Not with a voice like that. That's not true, Sabo. I thought it was really fascinating. I wonder how many worlds there are on the world tree. Mm, you are a curious one indeed, Prince Pietro. If only the rest of the class shared your enthusiasm. Nonetheless, you've perked my spirits, and for that, I thank you. Tomorrow, I must ensure I hold the class's attention. I'll begin my lesson plan at once. Glad we could lift his spirits. The cute dog guy. Huh? Is it over? Whew, that man's voice is like a lullaby. I was asleep before I knew it. Anyway, we really gotta hurry now. To the witch's house. If I do end up reading over any actual dialogue that they speak, it's only because my uh, I have to keep the laptop volume really low. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get an echo, and I would probably cry myself to sleep if that happened. So it was, why are we going to the end? Like, there's some... Oh, wait, no, this was just an icon on the... Okay, that's not where we needed to go. We need to go to, um... The Witch's House. So, which way... Let's hit Start. Okay, I'm assuming I need to go down this way. South, maybe? Oh, I passed the bridge entirely. Because <laughs> it was obscured, I, I had no idea. Yeah, okay, I'm going the right direction. Prince! Hey, hold up a second, Prince. Since I'm a royal god and all, I gotta remind you that there's all kinds of creepy beasties wandering around outside the town walls. You've already proven a dozen times that you can handle them just fine, but still, you're gonna want to be real careful, okay? More careful than you were when you left a castle without this, at least. Receive Dragon Lord's Blade. Well, that's an interesting starter weapon. Also, might not be a bad idea to stock up on healing items before you go, before you get too far from town. Jack of all trades should have you covered there. And if you need to take a breather, Hotel Elegance is pretty swanky. Good place to lie low for a bit and write in your journal, too. Yo! Anyway, if you're sure you're ready, we can set out anytime. Just do my job, you understand? Skills level up as battles are won. And leveling a skill improves might as well as its range. Some very powerful skills require the presence of another party member to use, indicated on the skill listing with a picture of that character's face. These are known as pair skills and are learned as the story progresses. Note that pair skills do not level up. Some status ailments inhibit pair skills. Good to know. I wonder if we're going to be able to get to use that. Let's go ahead and go to the menu. I just want to see what items we currently have uh, available. Okay, we do not have any healing items, so I'm going to actually go ahead and take that advice. I'm not sure why he didn't just tell me before I left, but sure, let's go back to the Jack of All Trades and see if we can buy some uh, healing items. I would like to buy some stuff. Um, oh, they're not just... I, I, was, I was looking for a potion. I was like, where's the potions? I don't see any here. Uh, but they are called Serenity Droplets, apparently. Restore some HP to one character. Okay. Oh, I only have 100 G. 
so I'm probably only going to be able to buy one. Alright. That should be good. I have no idea how long we've been recording because I've had to cut short. <laughs> I've had to stop recording at least twice because there's been a lot of noise outside my room, so... Oh, hey, don't you want to make a record of your progress before you go? Sure. I guess I should have gone to the, uh, the swanky hotel and saved there. But there we go, we saved. And here we go, random encounters! God, it's been a long time. This will be my first experience with the, uh, the gameplay mechanics. Engaging the enemy. Move attack. Pick a location and press the A button to move there. If an enemy is in range, you will also attack. Okay. Skill. Select the skill you wish to use. Item. Select an item you wish to use. Pretty basic stuff. Round attempt to flee. Not always successful. You may drop money as you escape. Okay, that's a little bit different. Press start during battle to toggle between manual and auto modes. Sometimes there is no escaping a fight. Alright, that's fair enough. Okay, so... Alright, I, I thought those were enemies. <laughs> there we go. I was just close enough where I could attack. Alright, and he... Alright, so I can't move him any closer. That's unfortunate. Maybe it's just because of where I moved Pietro, which is, again, unfortunate. So I moved him closer. Let's get him right here. Oh, I missed. Alright. Hedgehog. <laughs> Gotta go first. Right. Get your uncle or victorious. The battle is won. All right. Oh, he's one level higher than me. Again, you can't see the bottom screen, so I apologize for that. So yeah, it's it's been a long time since I played a game with random encounters. Obtained pan panacea. I don't know what that is. Which way? Which way do I want to go? Let's see. Maybe this way? Oh, another battle. Ooh. A hedgehog and whatever that is. Oh, well, I one hit it, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, you poor hedgehogs. Do I level up? Yep, I am now level two. The problem with wandering around in an RPG with random encounters is mostly because if you can't figure out where you're supposed to go, you end up running into a lot of... <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm going in the right direction after all. Nice. Now, I'm very, very unsure of what I want to do in terms of showing off the combat. Do I just want to show you everything? Oh, that guy looks like... That, that was a skeleton, but it looked like Jason. <laughs> I, oh, crap. Okay, I'll just move him right here. A Mandragora. Like those things in Harry Potter. Except they're, you know, they're in a lot of RPGs as well. But you guys will have to let me know. Do you Should I show you every encounter I come through? Uh, except for, you know, special cases where I'm trying to find something maybe and I'm encountering a lot. But should I show off every battle, or should I maybe skip some and whatnot? Alright, we can go left, or we can go right. And the... Okay, we need to go right. I'm just basing that off the map that I just saw. <laughs> Although... Ooh, let's see. Fairy Spring... Yeah, Witch's House, bottom down way. Alright. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to show every battle I come across, but we're early in the game, so I felt like we should probably at least show off a little bit of it. When we're pretty strong right off the bat, we're just like one-hitting some of these things. Well, maybe not that. <laughs> Crap, I can't get close enough. A battle ant. Interesting. These things are pretty weak. I haven't really felt like showing off the skills. I'm sure a, a, like a boss enemy or something along that effect will pop up eventually. And then I can probably show you guys what the skills are. Oh, yeah, see, sometimes you don't want to head in the direction that you're supposed to. You want to head in the opposite direction because you often find some treasure chests. At least that's what RPGs have taught me. 
Alright, let's move you closer. Alright, we'll move you closer. You're close enough to hit this guy. Oh, Skeleton Grunt. Okay, that's his name. Uh, again, he kind of looks like Jason. <laughs> Just pointing it out for like the second time. In a way, this is almost like a strategy game, which I think is what the Popo LaCroix video game series is. Is it like a strategy RPG? This is a healing point, or is this a save point? It looks like it's just a save, okay, not a saving point, but a healing spot or whatever. I'm sure it has a name, but don't know what it is. Ooh, another treasure chest. Magic Leap. This is, I, I like the gameplay so far. I like the battle mechanics. Like, I just got through doing a first Woo! impression. Finally made it. So this is where the witches of Flornal Forest live, huh? Of, uh, Fire Emblem. And it's kinda in the same vein, but not really. But this is more fun, Prince. in my opinion. Old Gilda and her little sister, Narcia. Gilda's real scary, though. Don't want to get anywhere near her. She keeps me right out. She's not scary. She's actually very nice. <laughs> nah, that can't be. But Narsha now, she's nice. Graceful, refined, a real catch. Hard to believe they're related. And here, I, I bet that's Gilda or something. Or... Demon! Oh! Well, we're about to get our foe now, so we're probably gonna- uh, I can show off some of my skills. Okay, fire break. Unleashes fireballs upon all enemies within a specified area. Can we show that off? Yes, we can. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Fire break! Nice. So far, the enemies kind of look all cute. It's like really- <laughs> it's like really adorable. And I like how they all call out their names, the, the moves. It's just like really classic RPG, really. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Did a lot. I, I realize that you guys can't even see the bottom screen. So, yeah. I actually want to keep doing my skills. I have enough MP to pull off this at least two more times, I think. Two more times. There's an S on that word. But if I keep doing this, we'll probably kill the demon really soon. You go ahead. Oh, I can hit again. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit him with another fire break. Fire break! Not sure why I get to attack twice, but whatever. Now you can give it. You can put the battling on auto, but I'm not sure why I would do that. That that seems really, really, really boring. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. Re I'm actually gonna heal him a little bit. Just because he's down to uh, 30 HP, and I don't want to get like one hit or something. Because you never know if he's gonna crit me or not. Uh, a critical hit is what I mean. So, also, I don't have. Let's see. Will this restore? Yes. Let's, this will restore some MP to me. That, that was my last magical leaf, though. So, <laughs> if I'm going to keep attacking him with my magical powers. I'm going to have to. I'm gonna actually hit him with a normal attack. Oh, 160. Actually, that's a little bit better than my my skill, which was only doing like what? 55 damage? Oh my god! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Uh Hold on, let me I'm gonna attack him. Maybe that will kill him. Okay, Gomer, I need you to use an item. Thank you. See, that's what I was worried about, being, like, one hit KO'd. Alright. Time to attack again. Oh. That was actually, that was actually a fairly challenging. I mean, it, it's nothing I could not have, like, gotten through, but you get my point. Alright, uh, Pietro has learned Wind Slash. Awesome. Now we got Fire and Air. Oh. <sighs> You're seriously amazing, Prince. Man, don't know what I would have done without you. Hmm. Well, that's 
what you get for coming to visit a scary witch like me. <laughs> figured I'd give you the reception you were expecting. Uh, I figured it was her. <gasps> Kilda! Welcome, Prince Pietro. It's been some time. Today's your birthday, isn't it? What brings you out here on such an important day? Meet my girl. Narcia, or Narcia, however you pronounce it. My, my, what a lovely scent. Are those for me? No, you old hag. Um, I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> I'm not that naive. They're for Narcia, right? Regrettably, she isn't here right now. She's out running an errand for me, of sorts. No need for the long face. You'll be back before the day is out, and I'll make sure she gets your present. And if she gets back early enough, maybe I can bring her by the castle for a visit. <laughs> Something wrong? I've been seeing you and Narsha flying all over the place lately. Something going on? Uh, just looking into some recent developments. You've heard of the Black Beasts, haven't you? Yeah, those freaky pitch black monsters have been showing up around here these past few weeks, all covered in spiky thorns and stuff. Their appearance has raised some questions, so we've been seeking answers. But you, you should be getting back, no? For the party? Oh, you're right! You really do have to go. Thanks, though, Gilda. It was good to see you again. Wait just a moment now. I can send you back with my magic if you're so inclined. Uh, we could walk back, but I think we will take her up on our offer. Hmm. My, my. I must say, though, these flowers really do have a wonderful smell. Alright, we're back at the castle. Um, but I think I'm going to end the video off here. We've already been going for like over 20 minutes. Uh, I think we're actually at the 30 minute mark because I have to, uh, I cut off the recording several times so it hasn't been adding up. So we're probably at like 25 or 30 minutes by now. Uh, so anyways, that's been Return to Popular Cory Story Season Fairy Tale. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment, especially if you want me to continue doing these. I mean, I'm going to continue doing this anyways, but it would be nice to know you guys want more. Um, this will actually be the first time I've done a 3DS Let's Play where there's actual dialogue. I mean, I did the first impression of Fire Emblem, and it had some dialogue. And normally, I keep the volume really low on my laptop and now I have to raise it a little bit so I can hear what they're saying and to know whether or not I need to read the text myself and I hopefully that doesn't like echo into the mic I, I can I can fix it I can wear headphones or something but yeah we're going to continue our birthday party I guess in the next video thank you guys for watching again I really hope you guys enjoy the video take care